In question 6 of this exercise, we have to draw the graphs of the equations 5x minus y equal to 5 and 3x minus y equal to 3. Then we have to determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and the y-axis. Okay, so let's start with the first equation which is 5x minus y equal to 5. So let's make an xy table and find two xy pairs that satisfy this equation two points that lie on the line for this equation and then we will be able to draw the line corresponding to this equation so if we substitute x equal to 0 here then y becomes minus 5 so 0 comma minus 5 is one point on the line of this equation and i could substitute x equal to 2 and that will give me y equal to 5 so I have taken values of x that give me integer values for both x, x and y because that makes it easier to plot them. So the two solutions that I will plot for this first line are 0 comma minus 5 and 2 comma 5. Now let's take the second equation. The second equation is 3x minus y equal to 3. Once again, let's make an xy table and give two values to x that give us integer values for both x and y so if i take x equal to 0 then y becomes minus 3 and if i take x equal to 2 that makes y equal to 3 so two solutions two points that will lie on the second line are 0 comma minus 3 and 2 comma 3 now let's plot the lines corresponding to these two equations so here are what the lines will look like so for the first line the two solutions are 0 comma minus 5 and this point here which is 2 comma 5 and this green line is the line corresponding to the first equation 5x minus y equal to 5 then for the second equation this is 1 point 0 comma minus 3 and then this is another point which is 2 comma 3 and this blue line passing through these two points is the line corresponding to this second equation so that with that we've plotted the lines and now let's find out the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and the y-axis so what are those coordinates so one is this point 0 comma minus 3 this point here then one is this point 0 comma minus 5 which is this point here and then one is this point which is 1 comma 0 so these three vertices are the vertices of the triangle formed by the two lines and the y-axis this vertical y-axis and let me mark out the boundaries of of this triangle so so this line joining 1 comma 0 to 0 comma minus 3 then this line 0 comma minus 3 to 0 comma minus 5 and then 0 comma minus 5 to 1 comma 0 so these three are the sides of the triangle so with that question 6 of this exercise is completed to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.